Story time. I'm in my fifth mastermind in the past four weeks, and this is like the most expensive one. I've paid over $150,000 to be in it, and it is all about entrepreneurship. The problem is, last week's mastermind was all about spirituality and being happy. But this one is for category kings, people who've made like $10 million are like super cool. So I'm walking in thinking everybody knows me, I'm super cool, I'm like the shit. For whatever reason, I'm one of the first people to go on the stage and present. Mind you, the mentor is like my idol i'm like oh my gosh this is the best person ever is russell brunson by the way the week before that i was at tony robbins platinum the problem was i had no idea what this presentation was going to be about they said tell us a little bit about yourself give us a give and ask for an ask and i'm like well these people are already know me because i'm like super cool obviously they already know me so i'm not gonna tell anything about myself i'm not gonna tell my story i'm just gonna Give a bit of a give. I'm going to tell about my mission. I'm going to ask for an ask. Mind you, I've just come back from Tony Robbins' spirituality event. I'm like, yeah, everything is amazing. Let's be happy. So I go up on stage not knowing the people in this room not only don't know about me, but are like super smart and are like bajazillionaires. I'm like, yeah, I have a mission. Let's go change the world. And then, by the way, Russell, next year I want to speak at your event. That's my ass. I have been beating myself up about this for the past two days. It was right after me, these people started going up on stage and showing how brilliant they are, telling their story, and they did not know who I was. My only consolation is that this was probably a good lesson. I was getting comfortable. I thought I was the shit. I thought I've made it. And then it was like, no, no, don't get too comfortable. Get out of your comfort zone. Carry this embarrassment and go back to work. Please tell me in the comments that you have also, at one point in your life, made a fool out of yourself. I can't be the only one.